Uh, what is up guys it's Colbs here and today I have clan battles all goblins all goblins all goblins that's what we're gonna do today and it's such a great deck because it's so low elixir cost that you can just constantly drop troops it's crazy the dark goblin is so fucking good I can I really can't believe how good the dark goblin is and how how little it's used in this game but basically what we do, we drop low elixir costing troops on other troops, and then we drop the Dark Goblin behind to do most of the damage. And it's just such an amazing troop. I really recommend using it more often in your decks, especially in clan battles. What we're doing today though, we're dropping four Goblin Barrels on one of the towers, we're cloning them, and then we're raging them. It, it works so well, just like Skelly Death or Mass Hog Rider. Both of these combinations work amazingly. Right now, we're not really dropping all of our Goblin Barrels at the same time. But look at this huge rush we're about to go on. We end up taking out the tower. Now it's time to go for the three crown. What we're doing, we're chucking the four Goblin Barrels. I don't know why we're not doing it. Okay, there we go. And we clone them up. Did, do we end up getting it? Yes, we do. Just like I said before, this is such a great deck to use. It's so much fun, and no one really expects four Goblin Barrels. People might be prepared for one or two, but it does not seem like most people are prepared for four, and then when you clone them and rage them, it's really unstoppable. There are certain ways to stop it, but you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to show you that. I, I only like to show the wins because then it looks like we're perfect, and we are. We are the perfect clan mates. And we usually win. I would say we win about 75% of the time. But right here, this deck is so fucking annoying. But I think we might be able to pull out the win. I don't know for sure. I guess we're just going to have to watch to find out. But right there, they dropped the Skeleton Army. And our two Goblin Barrels are just destroyed without really doing any damage. And we know we have to try to stop this mini pack up from getting any hits off on the tower. Or we'd probably go on a little bit bigger of a rush. We we just, in the end, we usually go on a really big goblin barrel rush after the enemies have dropped all their elixir. And right now, look, they dropped so much elixir, we cloned them up, we threw goblins, we cloned them again, and we got the win. Three crown, baby. These battles aren't as fast as Skeledeath, but they are just as fun. It's so fun to see all these different troops. Well, they're the same troops, but it's fun to see a large quantity of them, and that's just what we love to do. I'll probably be making a lot more of these videos, but look at right there. That log just took out all of our goblins, and I was pretty disappointed, you know. I thought we were going to have to face the music and take defeat. No, I'm lying. I, I knew we were going to win right off the bat. Look, four goblin barrels. Even with a wizard there, look at how much damage it still does with the clone and rage spell. We weren't able to take out the tower, but that's fine. And they throw the elite barbarians and fire spirits behind them. And that's usually a good combination. But against goblins, it really didn't do too much. They keep dropping these logs. And once they drop most of their elixir, I'm pretty sure we're going to go on a rush. We don't end up doing that. We end up playing more defensively, but that's usually what we end up doing. Um, we just like going on these huge rushes, and here we go. They drop all of their troops, but we know if we can try to get that three crown before they take out all of our fucking buildings, we will be good, but we don't end up doing, doing it. There's 16 damage, but we throw a couple more goblin barrels and take it out anyways. So for this battle, we're going straight for that three crown. We have to cycle through our troops to get to the goblin barrels with the clone spell and the mirror. If we have all three of those, then we're set. Actually, she has the rage. I have the clone spell. And with that combination, yet again, I've said this so many times. It's so amazing. Look at this. We go straight for the three crown. We clone them and rage them and we get the three crown right away. I'll show two more battles. Then I'm going to end this video. If you guys ever have any decks you want us to use, feel free to comment them. I'm always open to suggestions, and I like making this game a little bit more fun with crazy decks. That's really all you can do. I mean, there are some draft challenges. Those are fun. But other than that, with clan battles, it's just it's hard to have fun, and I feel like sometimes we just take this game too seriously. Right there, we go for the three crown, but we don't get it. 
Oh no, it was so sad. I thought we were going to get it right there, but it doesn't really matter. Look at 188 HP left on that tower. All we got to do is throw a couple more goblin barrels, scatter them across the building, and we'll be able to get it. No problem. We throw a couple, then we throw a couple more, but we don't end up getting it. They take out our tower. I thought this could end up being pretty bad. They dropped two skeleton armies, and those are a lot of skeletons, but for our goblins, you know, it's too easy for them to be taken out. So we throw a couple more. We throw two in front, two in back, and we end up getting it too easily. Fuck it, let's do a times four speed. Let's get going. We drop some goblins right in the beginning. They drop a golem. Zap, zap. Fucking minions. Golems. Dark goblins. Fucking golem. Bloon. Dragon. Tornado. The goblin gang free. Zap. Ah! Goblins! Goblins! Get them! Ah! Holy shit, there's a lot of troops. There's a lot of goblins on the screen. Can we get the three crown? We get it! Bye.